on my mother's life, on my mom's life, on my mom's life, he's playing against us. On my nan's grave, he is playing against us. I swear to God, on my nan's grave, bro, he's playing against us. He ain't. What can I say, people? Chelsea are becoming specialists in failure. You know, back in the day when Jose Moreno used to call Arsenal specialists in failure because the lack of trophies is happening to us right now. Specialists in failure. The teams that lost more finals and let's say more games in general at Wembley in the last few years been Chelsea Football Club. Shame on us, man. Shame on us. You can blame whoever you want. But if you are honest enough, you look at yourself in the mirror, you will see that Chelsea are lacking quality in the final third. Only Cole Palmer. If he was 11, well, you can't really win a game with 11 Cole Palmer on the pitch. That is a lie. But I'm trying to make a point that only Cole Palmer can create the difference in the final third. Nicholas Jackson, yeah, link up play, dribbling, bullying people, awesome player. But when it comes to scoring goals, that is the most important thing in football is scoring goals. Nowhere to be seen. This video was supposed to be my player ratings. But I will be all over the place. What are you rating here? You know? Like, nobody cares about your performance. People care about winning. In this stage of the season, what matter is the result? Win your games. So, if I have to go and rate some people, Nicholas Jackson is going to get 1 out of 10 because he was on the pitch. He was immense. This game, if we won, he was going to have like 9 out of 10. But when you don't score goals, my friend, you don't win games. Other players, I don't have to talk about all of them, to be honest with you. I have to go on social media and start reacting to what people are saying. Disgrace, man. Manchester City played... 120 plus minutes they went through penalties they lost mentally and physically tired how the hell chelsea can't beat manchester city moises caicedo sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe ha 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 i'm not gonna say that on on youtube it might be blocked three out of ten galaga how much three or four i don't care uh mikalo mudrik when he came on you expect your 88 million pound player to come and make the difference. Nothing. The same way you will wait for Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez to, to create some miracles because they, they're supposed to be our marquee signings. Your marquee signings will bail you out when you need them the most. Awful. Pochettino, I'm going to give him 4 or 3 out of 10. Until like 75 minutes, I couldn't find anything wrong with Pochettino. The lineup wasn't the lineup that I wanted to see, of course, because I wanted Raheem Sterling to start. He always does good against City, but he chose to do his own way. But I was okay as long as we win. And then when he made those changes... Lord have mercy. So we have to share here. Miss of chances and also, you know, Mauricio Pochettino in game management. So he's going to get 3 out of 10. Chile, he came on, didn't do much, didn't have really time to do anything. Manchester City were experienced enough to, to block him, to block everything he tried to do. Noni Madweke, he was good. Like our players today, it's even criminal for me to give them 3 4. But at the end of the day, this was like a final for us. And we didn't win. So we failed as a group. So I have hard time to give people eight, seven. Because we all together in the same boat. 
kukurea sometimes good sometimes bad four out of ten Raheem Sterling he came on didn't do, didn't do much is laughing his way to the bank now to collect his 350k every single week but who cares i think he could have done better if he started the game so i'm not gonna blame on on raheem copama copama yeah six out of ten he tried but when you're not helped by other people there's nothing you can do about it he could have had like two assists today what do you want Malu Gusto, 5 out of 10. Enzo Fernandez, 5 out of 10. 6 out of 10 for Thiago Silva. Very sad that Silva is not going to win the FA Cup in his career. Very sad because I believe that he's going to leave the end of the season. Chaloba was solid, but we got undone because nobody was marking Bernardo Silva. Who was supposed to, to mark him? Probably modric or some somebody i don't know anybody man just mark him take him out out of the way or something you know so palma six out of ten because i can't give many people i can't give them even seven today eight out of ten petrovic because he saved us from a disaster some of the saves today you look at those saves and you are like he doesn't deserve to be in the losing team eight out of ten for him I hate you. I hate, I hate you. I've never hated a player more in my life than you, blood. I never wanted you. I knew you were shit. Let's check on some <laughs> some stuff on social media here. Defeat at semi-final. Yeah. So, w w what is your opinion about Pochettino right now? Because Many people were giving him the benefit of the doubt if he can win Europa League and qualify us for the, uh, not even the Conference League, Europa League. But it looks like it's not going to happen anymore. Do you still want him to be given a chance the second season or you want him out? I don't know. Me, before even this game, I've already gave up on Pochettino. I said, I respect the man. I'm not going to insult, not going to push, I'm not going to say anything but the end of the season the season i can't even speak respectfully get him out get somebody in because i don't feel the connection i don't think he's a he's a winning manager he's a coach to a certain extent but tell me one player that he already developed in the team maybe you can say cole palmer but cole palmer is coming from city he doesn't give a chance to the youngsters from the academy. He's very stubborn and making the wrong decisions pretty much every single day. So I want him out. But respectfully, not going to disrespect the man because not everything is on him. If you look at Thiago Silva here, how sad is that? He was crying really. Look at the tears. Crying because he knows that he's living. And... Um, that was his last opportunity to win the FA Cup. And he'd been in the, like two FA Cup finals. Lost all of them. Never, Probably never won any trophy at Wembley. That is going to be the record that is not going to be in his uh, CV because he won the Champions League, won uh, the Super Cup with Chelsea, the World Cup, and then the domestic cups. He didn't win any. That's why he's so emotional. And I can understand him, man. I understand Thiago Silva. Mauricio Pochettino, specialist in failure. Look at that. <laughs> Mauricio Pochettino has lost every FA Cup semi-final that he has taken charge, charge of during his managerial, managerial career, basically in England. So this was in 2017, Chelsea 4, Tottenham Hotspurs 2. Uh, 2018, Manchester United 2, Tottenham Hotspurs 1. Manchester City 1, Chelsea uh, 0 today. So look at him. Specialist in failure, to be honest with you. I still respect the man, but the record doesn't really back him. And then he's going to brag about oh we are getting to Wembley 
we got to Wembley. Getting to Wembley is becoming like an achievement, a big achievement for the guy. But getting to Wembley without winning it is just nothing. And you see here, Manchester City, the double is on. I think they're going to win it. They're going to smash Manchester United or whatever, whatever team is going to be in the final. And they're going to win it. And the Premier League, I think they're going to win it too. So very good season for us. Awful season for Chelsea Football Club. Man, I can't even continue. Uh, a lot of banter, a lot of reactions on social media as per usual. And um, DR Sport here, we're comparing uh, our transfer here, Kukurea, 60 million anyways. Uh, Enzo, more than 100 million. And then Caicedo, more than 100 million. You expect your expensive players really to do something and not blame Gallagher all the time. Gallagher had a very good game, very solid game. The amount of balls that he recovered in the opposition half, incredible. But nobody is going to care about those statistics. Everybody is waiting for a miss pass, a miss penalty, something that they can hold on and then get on him for the wrong reasons. But nobody is going to say anything about these expensive players because we pushed them and we thought that they were going to be perfect and everything free from the academy or everything cheap is not quality according to Chelsea online standards. You have to cost a lot of money and you have to come from another country, another academy, and you need to have a nickname, a very cool nickname, and you have to be on high salary in order for us to push you and respect you. But anything free and good is not good enough for Chelsea Football Club. It is what it is, man. I'm sick and tired of this. It was going to be a perfect, perfect day for Chelsea. Chelsea women did a great job on Barcelona. They went away, beat Barcelona, and um, and I was expecting Chelsea to beat City so we can have a perfect weekend. But look what they give to me. Look what they paid to me. Yes, we can blame the referee. Okay, the referee was awful. And we all know that the referees don't like Chelsea. It's not the first time. We had a penalty. They refused to give us, to give us a penalty. Clear penalty. But is not totally the reason why we are out. The reason why we are out is because we couldn't take our chances. We had tons of chances. We didn't take them. And then we conceded a goal at the wrong, wrong, wrong time. When you are at almost 80 minutes into the game, you concede. Game over already. This season, we, we, we were lucky like a couple of times going back and, and having some kind of remontada the last minute, scoring about against Manchester United, something like that. It doesn't happen every day. The majority of the time, you have to win your games in regular time. What the heck?